Consider the cubic cost function in this graph. The horizontal axis measures the level of output. The cost function shows how the total cost rises as output is increased. This is the marginal cost. It declines as the cost function flattens towards its inflection point and then begins to increase as the cost function gets steeper. Here's average cost. Average costs initially decline, then increase. Let's focus on marginal and average cost. Notice that to the left of Q star, marginal cost is below average cost. So average costs decline when output is increased because fixed costs are allocated to larger amounts of output. In this range, the incremental costs, also known as marginal costs, are less than the average, so the average is getting pulled down. Once the firm expands beyond Q star units of output, also known as the minimum efficiency scale, marginal costs start to pull the average costs up. Consider the function f of one variable x. To maximize or minimize f, there are four steps that we need to follow. Step one, find the first derivative of f. Step two, solve for all x where the first derivative of f equals to zero or does not exist. These are called the critical values of f. Step three, find the second derivative of f. Step four, evaluate the second derivative of f at each critical value. If the second derivative is negative, then f has a relative maximum at that point. If it is positive, then f has a relative minimum at that point. This is called the second derivative test. If you are more familiar with the first derivative test, then feel free to use it instead. Let's look at an example. A manufacturer's total cost function is given by c equals q squared over 4 plus 3q plus 400, where c is the total cost of producing q units. Construct the marginal and average cost functions. At what level of output Will average cost per unit be a minimum? What is this minimum? When average cost is at a minimum, what can we say about average cost and marginal cost? For part A, recall that marginal cost is just the first derivative of cost with respect to Q. So marginal cost is 2Q over 4 plus 3, which equals Q over 2 plus 3. Recall that average cost is just total cost divided by Q. So the average cost function is q squared over 4 plus 3q plus 400 all over q. This equals to q over 4 plus 3 plus 400 over q. For part b, in order to minimize average cost, we need to follow four steps. Step 1. Find the first derivative. The first derivative of average cost is equal to 1 over 4 minus 400 over q squared. Step 2. Find the critical values of average cost. The first derivative equals to 0 when 1 over 4 minus 400 over q squared equals 0. Multiplying both sides by 4q squared, we have q squared minus 1600 equals 0. Notice that the left hand side is the difference of squares, so we can factor the left hand side. This gives us q minus 40 times q plus 40 equals 0. So the first derivative equals 0 when q equals 40 or q equals negative 40. The first derivative does not exist when q equals 0. Notice that both q equals negative 40 and q equals 0 are negligible. q equals negative 40 is negligible because we can't have a negative number of units of production. q equals 0 is negligible since the average cost function is undefined for q equals 0. Step 3. Find the second derivative. The second derivative is 800 over q cubed. Step 4. Evaluate the second derivative at each critical value. When q equals 40, the second derivative is 800 over 40 cubed, which is equal to 0 0.0125. Since this number is positive, average cost has a relative minimum at q equals 40. Therefore, average cost will be a minimum at an output level of q equals 40 with the minimum average cost of 23. For part C, when cost is at a minimum, that is when Q equals 40, we saw that average cost is 23 from the last slide. Marginal cost will be 40 over 2 plus 3, which equals 23. 
Therefore, when average cost is at a minimum, average and marginal costs are equal. Let's look at what is happening graphically. Here's marginal cost, and here's average cost. When average cost is at a minimum, that is, when Q equals 40, the minimum average cost is 23. Average costs decline when output increases because fixed costs are allocated to larger amounts of output. In this range, the incremental costs, also known as marginal costs, are less than average, so the average is getting pulled down. Once the firm expands beyond 40 units of output, also known as the minimum efficiency scale, marginal costs start to pull average up. Here's an exercise that you can try. Remember to pause the video before checking your solution. Good luck!